Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will talk about quartiles of group data. For group data, quartiles are the same with median. That is the sum of the lower class boundary and the fractional part of the class interval size. LB means lower class boundary. Less than CF sub B, that is less than cumulative frequency below quartile class. F sub QK, that is frequency of the quartile class. I means the interval. So quartile have three score points. The Q sub 1, Q sub 2, or Q sub 3. So Q sub 1, that is lower class boundary of Q sub 1 class plus n over 4. So K is 1, so 1 times n, n. Minus less than CF below all over F of Q sub 1 class times I. For Q sub 2, that is equal to LB Q sub 2 class plus the quantity of 2N divided by 4 minus less than CF below all over frequency of Q sub 2 class times I. For Q sub 3, that is equal to LB sub Q sub 3 class plus the quantity of 3n over 4 since k is 3 minus less than cf below all over f q sub 3 class times i. So let us have example. The scores of students in algebra test. As you can see, it is arranged using frequency distribution table where the scores are in terms of class interval and the respondents are in frequency. So, frequency meaning the number of students per class interval. So, for 95 to 99, there are 5 students who got the score of 95 to 99. So, there are 11 students who got 90 to 94. There are 17 students who got 85 to 89. There are 25 students who got 80 to 84. 20 students who got 75 to 79. 12 students who got 70 to 74, 7 students who got 65 to 69, and 3 students who got the score of 60 to 64. So if we are going to find how many students took the test, just add the frequency. So 5 plus 11, 16, plus 17, that is equal to 33, plus 25, that is 58, plus 20, 78, plus 12, 90, plus 7, 97, plus 3, 100. So there are 100 students who took the test. So N is equal to 100. This is similar in computing the median of the group data. So you need the less than cumulative frequency column. So again, less than cumulative frequency is the sum of the frequencies, starting at the lower class. So the frequency of the lower class is 3, so rewrite 3. Then add the frequency of each class 1 by 1. So 3 plus 7, that is 10, plus 12, that is 22, plus 20, that is 42, plus 25, that is 67, plus 17, that is equal to 84, plus 11, that is equal to 95, and plus 5, that is 100. So let us have the first quartile. The first quartile is the lower quartile or Q sub 1. So, we need to find all the values in the formula. So again, to locate Q sub 1, the formula is N over 4. So, N over 4 is equal to 100 divided by 4. So, that is equal to 25. Then locate 25 in less than cumulative frequency. So 25 is not included to 3, 10, and 22. Therefore, this is included to 42. 
So the class of 25 is 75 to 79 and the frequency is 20. So therefore, Q sub 1 is located to 75 to 79. So now let us find the lower class boundary of the Q sub 1 class. The less than cumulative frequency below the Q sub 1 class. The frequency of the Q sub 1 class and the class interval. So again, LB. So lower class boundary involve the lower score of the classes. So 75 to 79, the lower score is 75. So subtract 0 0.5 from this score. 75 minus 0 0.5, that is 74.5. So LB is 74.5. Next, the cumulative frequency below the Q sub 1 class, since Q sub 1 class is here, the cumulative frequency is 42, below it is 22. So therefore, less than cumulative frequency below is 22. For the frequency of the Q sub 1 class, that is 20. And I is equal to 5, the distance between each row. So 60 to 65, that is 5. Now, let us compute, substitute all the values of the formula. So Q sub 1 is equal to lower boundary of the Q sub 1 class. That is 74.5 plus the quantity of N over 4 is 25 minus cumulative frequency below is 22 all over frequency of Q sub 1 is 20 times the class interval which is 5. So that is equal to 74.5 so rewrite plus solve the fractional part of the class interval size. So 25 minus 22 is 3 over 20 times 5. So again, 20, 5 divided by 20, that is divisible by 4. So 5, this is 1, and this is 4. So 3 fourth. So that is equal to 0 0.75 plus 74 point and that is equal to 75.25. So therefore, Q sub 1 is equal to 75.25 between 75 to 79. So Q sub 1 is correct. So again, if we are going to interpret Q sub 1, that is 25% of the respondents got the score of 75.25 and below. So now let us calculate the second quartile or Q sub 2 which is also known as the median. So first step is to locate the second quartile. So again the formula is Kn over 4 so 2n over 4. Since this is also known as median so it could be n over 2. So now first step Locate the Q sub 2 or second quartile that is 2n over 4, the formula, or n over 2. So that is 100 all over 2, that is 50. The next step is to locate 50 in less than cumulative frequency. So again, 50 is not included to 3, 10, 22, and 42 since these numbers are less than 50. Therefore, 50 is included to 67. So the class of second quartile is 80 to 84 and the frequency is 25. So this is the location of the Q sub 2. So let us find the other values in the formula. So the lower class boundary of the Q sub 2 class 
the less than cumulative frequency below the Q sub 2 class, the frequency of the Q sub 2 class, and the interval. So, again, LB. So, to calculate or to get the lower class boundary of the median class, we will use the lower score of the median class. That is 80 instead of 84. So, 80, we have to subtract 0 0.5 from 80. So, now, LB is 79.5. So, next is the less than cumulative frequency below the median class. The cumulative frequency of the median class is 67. Below it is 42. Therefore, less than cumulative frequency below the median class is 42. The frequency of the median class or Q sub 2, so the second quartile class, that is 25. So now, frequency of Q sub 2 class is 25. Five. And I, or the interval, that is 5. Now, let us calculate the second quartile using the formula. Let us substitute all the values of the formula. So, Q sub 2 is equal to lower class boundary of the Q sub 2 class, that is 79.5 plus the quantity of 2n over 4, that is n over 2, that is 100 over 2, that is 50. Minus, less than cumulative frequency below, that is 42. All over, frequency of Q sub 2 class is 25. Times 5. So again, rewrite 79.5 plus, so solve the fractional part of the class interval size. So, that is 50 minus 42, that is equal to 8 over 25 times 5. So, 8 over 25, that is equal to 0 0.32 times 5 plus 79.5. So, that is equal to 0 0.32 times 5. That is equal to 1.6 plus 79.5. 79.5 plus 1.6, that is equal to 81.1. So, therefore, Q sub 2 or the median class is 81.1. If we're going to interpret... 50% of the students got the score of 81.1 and below or less than or equal to 81.1. So now let us calculate the third quartile. So this is the formula. The only difference is the location. So 3n over 4. So now let us find the location. So the first step is to locate q sub 3. So, 3n over 4. So, that is 3 times 100 all over 4 since n is 100. So, 100 divided by 4, 25 times 3, that is 75. So, locate 75 to less than cumulative frequency. Since 67 is less than 75, therefore, 75 is located at 84. So, the class of Third quartile is 85 to 89 and the frequency is 17. So here is Q sub 3 or the third quartile, also known as the upper quartile. So now, to calculate Q sub 3, we need to find all the remaining values of the formula. The first one is the lower class boundary of the Q sub 3. Involve the score of the lower score of the Q sub 3 and the lower score is 85 instead of 89. So we subtract 0 0.5 from 85. So LB is 84.5. Next is the less than cumulative frequency below the Q sub 3 class. So Q sub 3 
the, Q, the less than cumulative frequency of Q3 is 84. Below it is 67. So therefore, less than cumulative frequency below is 67. And the next is the frequency of the Q3 class. So frequency of Q3 is 17. And I is equal to 5. Now, let us calculate the Q sub 3. So, substitute all the values of the formula. So, Q sub 3 is equal to LB, that is 84.5, plus the quantity of 3N over 4 is 75, minus less than cumulative frequency or CB, that is 67, all over frequency of Q sub 3 that is 17 times 5 the interval rewrite 84.5 plus solve the fractional part of the class interval size 75 minus 67 all over 17 so that is equal to 0 0.40 7 times 5. 0 0.47 times 5, that is equal to 2.35 plus 84.5. So we add, that is equal to 86.85. Therefore, Q sub 3 is 86.85. That means 75% of the students got the score of 86.85 and below or less than or equal to 86.85.